am a mortal king, I am the king of the scene, I bring the music scene back. Hear my empirical rhymes added lyrical flow to this rap that's a fact. Fresh me down the scene, I flesh out my routine to slip in between the obscene and uninteresting, just a smoke treat for my infernal machine, I'm sent to blow up on this track. Let me explain why my name's in this game, let me share with you my hardship and pain. Let my left brain analyze and devise all these rhymes so you might get some mice and my folk tales and lies and I'm here to surprise, terrified at a mice, say I actualize truth, I locked up inside, you've been died by my intricate demons, released every life and belies in my triumph. I don't know everyone's hardships, didn't grow up with your pain. But I know that I'm the farthest thing from a thief looking for money or fame I'm keeping it real, I over-reveal, I weep and I squeal I'm caught to the real, an automobile that is stuck and get aimed at the cliffs of Unreal Sad eyes shimmer gold, king leaps from his throne in dim vision yet no i'm just dying to one shots man that are like dim vision wouldn't have helped in those deaths
What up, what up, what up? All right, let's get this. I'm good. How you doing, Peyton? What's up, YouTube? What is up, Twitch? Aw, thanks, Fat Malone. Let's, uh... Oh, we're in Nightmare. We got our spirit, I believe. Have I ever found Tira's might? Twice. Twice we have found it. Okay, stealth. Tira, what's our res like? Oh, why is our lightning res so bad? I let Baby Lilith die? No, Baby Lilith is still alive. Okay, there's lightning res on a belt. Which I may take over life here. 56 life is so much. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, what I'd rather have is gloves with light, but... What up, John? Hello from Philippines. Smoke Rogue with the Prime sub. Reminding everybody they probably have a Prime subscription available. Click on sub and then elevate your subscription. And, uh... This place has the stench you'll be good to go. About it. What's... Why was that on hotkeyed? Subscribe with Prime is right there. Bamches! Thank you very much. Here's the lightning enchant I was so worried about. <laughs> Making a team of tough barbarians? Get it. It's probably also respect time, if we're going to be honest. So, probably time for that. Yeah. It is definitely that time. Definitely is that time. No. Brit Brittany, thank you so much. Yeah, like all my hotkeys are reset. Showing off your keyboard makes chat very difficult to read. Alright, let's see. Um There you go, how's that? Is it just me or is Mr. Llama buffing up? Nah, probably just you. Gonna go all vitality necro after this? That's just called a normal necromancer. Ah, the slow torture of caged starvation. <laughs> that doesn't even have a special name. Does level one bone armor have benefits that aren't listed on the skill? Uh, no. So, you must say, why are you using level 1 bone armor then? That seems like a weird choice. Um, it's because synergies for bone armor are actually better than bone armor. So, an additional point in bone armor is not worth as much as the 15 damage absorbed per level from the synergy. Now, did they update it to be... I, I think... Recently, they may have actually updated it, but it's like the same. And so, again, I would rather have the point down in like Bone Prison or Bones, you know, whatever, Bone Wall, whatever, rather than have the points in Bone Armor. Hammer and Cold Source, where can you farm? Anywhere. 
that combination will be good for anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to remember if they if they made that update in D2R so that it wasn't actually worse, but it's still like the same, so then it still just becomes like, well, there's no real reason to put points there. You still want the points in the other spots. Okay, so let's see. So this is, yeah, so it absorbs 15 damage, but you can see the synergy is also 15 damage absorbed per level. So again, I'm just going to put the points in, you know, down here and such, because these ones, the benefits are actually better. So it's not worth any bit more. Life, nice. Let's go, baby. All right. Uh, it's respect time. I don't have respect quest. We do have inner cloister. Okay, let's go kill me. the den. Demon hide boots. I mean, I am it's uh, technically better, though. I don't know. Maybe the 150 max stamina is better than the half freeze duration. Oh, that's a tough one. I almost like 150 max stamina just because I have so little stamina with no vitality. You thought the synergies were a percentage? No, it's all flat, which is what makes it kind of strange. I sense death within this place. How's uh how's everybody doing today? It's really nice to see you all. I appreciate you guys showing up. The early squad gets the worm, they say. The early bird gets the llama RPG alpha access. So I have heard. Lazy Sunday? Yeah, we uh, went and uh, got just a couple donies this morning. Some yummy donuts, but not a lot. You know, I don't want to eat too many. And... And then we... Let's see, what else do we do? We went over to my sister-in-law's house and hung out with the kids. I jumped on a trampoline for 15 minutes. I guess technically like 17 minutes. Oh my god, I'm so exhausted. I was dizzy for the next like three hours just of exhaustion. Ooh, entire dual dragon hotfit. Wow. That's nice, dude. What's, uh, what's his name? Hey. Did I do a backflip? I did. I did two backflips and a back handspring. I could still do it. So that was that was fun, you know, having the having it still technically work. I need to start keeping up some of these. So we we still got it slightly. You rolled a six bow CTA today? Let's go. Sounds terrifying. Look, was I slightly scared of breaking my neck? Yeah. Zero! Brit Brittany, thank you both. Slightly. 
Ain't a young whippersnapper like I used to be, you know. Alright, we'll go 60 strength, just because I like it for, like, plated belts. I don't think we need any energy. Let's just jam dexterity with the rest of it. Uh, max out the bone spear. Summon curses. Max out the bone prison. And... Let's go the rest into corpse explosion. Get, like, a little bit of a corpse explosion going. PD2 Amazon Smith Blast, that's good. Glad to hear. I, we're looking, we're looking decent here. My biggest issue is I'm really worried about my lightning resist. That is, that is really bad. I, I need, ooh, 28 life, 23 light res, over 56 life, I'm taking it. Do I, w do I love that life so much? Yes, but 23 light res is, we need it. That's, uh, sometimes you, you, you speak your difficulties out loud and, uh, the game answers. Well, technically when you have the streamer client, there's AI that's listening that then, you know, sets the loot to adjust it, but. Hey man, all you have to do is manifest what you need in your, your life. That's it, you speak it into existence. It really does seem like oftentimes that happens. Like, I'm not saying I'm cheating, but I'm a little questionable of myself and how it all works out, because I feel like that happens a lot. Sometimes I'll even be like, man, I haven't had a high rune in forever, and then a high rune drops, like, in, like, you know, within two minutes. It's like, okay. It's a little too fishy. So, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm a little sus of myself. Where is the early access of LOM RPG and do we have to buy access to the access? Uh, the early access is not out yet. You can wishlist exclamation mark LOM RPG. Um, you can wishlist LOM RPG right now. It means a lot if you do. That is the stuff that, like... I mean, look at all the AAA and big games and whatever that are, like... Not, a, not always AAA, but just whatever. How much they're all pushing wish list. I don't even know that it's the biggest thing, but just based on how much they are making it a big thing, I'm like, oh, this must be a big thing. Like, I haven't done any research, but I am believing their marketing teams. Um, so you can go wishlist it. It's free. It takes, like, a second to put it on your Steam wishlist. And it means the world to me um, and will and the world to Llama RPG overall. The success of Llama RPG is contingent upon a few, you know, thousands of people going... And hitting that wishlist button and then Steam pushing it out to more people and doing all that and uh, yeah Ooh, four pin socket okay because we have a bad broadsword right now so <gasps> cat master OP hello how are you how is your stream so if you if you want Better Llama RPG with even more awesome stuff and more expansions and more content put into it and more everything of effort and work and all of that. Wishlisting it is the secret sauce. Oh, that's scary. I, I don't like that at all. That was really, really scary. Okay. We are using Godot. We are not using C-sharp currently. 
Um, because we do wish to port to, uh, console at some point. If things go, you know, even mildly decent. Get, like, a console port over there. And C-sharp you, you can't have for, like, you know, switch and stuff. But Godot will work on oh, that. No, no, no. Rubies and Ral Ort to be put in the helm and stuff for a, a chest armor. Yeah, it'd be it'd be good. But for the helm, yeah, I want that three open socket helm with that. Or I would take something like a rock stopper and then shove a perfect ruby in it. You know, that'd be amazing. All right, let's go. We've got Nagel Ring on Big MF. Oh, womp womp. Oh, we got a belt. There's a potential it's like godly. No C sharp runtime for mobile, really? I did not know that. For console, like, I don't think you can have C sharp on, like, a Switch. And I'm not sure with, with mobile exactly. 11 strength, 12 cold red. It's okay. Two dexterity. Mm, big womp womps there. Um, okay, the good news is we did find another four open socket. We have Tal, Ort, Am. Do we have three more Orts? No, we have Ral, Ral, Tal, Tal, Tal. Okay, so we have like one Ort. I just need a Thal rune. Because I want to roll at least a 28%. Thank you, Slats, for the 27 months, by the way. I do appreciate that. How was the wedding? The wedding was great. It was fantastic. So, yeah, I went and I got ordained. And then I officiated a wedding. It's crazy. It was my friend's wedding. They, they, they asked. They were like, hey, we're looking for someone to officiate our wedding and apparently that's like to get an officiant it's like pricey like five hundred thousand bucks or something man it's like what i was like so i was like yeah i'll do it because yeah why not and they were like later on and then after that they were like hey were you serious about offering i was like i mean i guess so I like was and wasn't, you know? That's true. That's right. What up? Did my girlfriend catch the bouquet? They never, they didn't do a toss. There was no tossing of a bouquet. Um, so then I had to go like, you know, do the ordain thing, which wasn't hard. Uh, and then, yeah. And then I tried to write up, you know, something, something nice. So I thought, I thought it went really well. They said it was great. They said uh, the father, the bride, said he it was really nice and stuff. So it seemed like they they liked it. Your efficient seven hundred dollars. Yeah. But I mean that's crazy. Well, I mean I, I don't know. It does seem crazy. Like, I got to go enjoy a nice wedding and eat food and have a good time. And like, I don't know. I think it's maybe because I'm a streamer as well. I just don't care about talking, <laughs> like in front of people. So maybe that's like something that a lot of people fear or whatever. That's kind of my guess, because it seemed like they had probably asked others as well, prior, and other people, you know, said no, or nobody stood up and said yes, I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't know. With a laptop, I get it. I understand that. But for me, it's like, very natural. I'm just like, yeah, what? You stand up in front of a hundred people and tell some jokes and have a good time, but like, have the serious moments as well. So I wasn't, I wasn't like bothered in any, that way in any way about it. So it, it seemed like, man, 
seven hundred dollars to do that. It'd be wild. But again, I'm also discounting probably just all that stuff. I mean, the other pieces, and and I don't know. This is, I guess, my question for you with your officiant. How much did you uh, talk to them? Like, is it personalized and stuff? Because that was something that I did. I like sat down with them. I asked them about their relationship. And I wrote up a nice little thing in the address talking about their, you know, relationship and what I thought, you know, was special about it and what it all meant. So I'm like, I could see with those sorts of things you charging a little extra because it's like, yeah, you're putting the time in to, to customize it. But if I just had a standard script that I was going by, where I just get up there and give, like, the standard stuff. I like it, different. Fight the patriarchy. Then I'm like, Psh, that's just, that's an easy day, man. The hard part was sitting down and writing up all the, all the, the personalized comments, you know. That's where I was like, okay, that's, you know, that's where the time goes in. But it was fun. I'd recommend it as a, a fun fun thing to do. Ours is personalized. We're working on that specific words and stuff. We had a few meetings. So we had a few words. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's nice at least. I think that uh, that definitely like helps it, you know. They, they kind of gave me a little bit of free reign. I mean, I, I would, like, message them, and I'd be like, hey, do you want this kind of wording? What do you want your vows to look like? You know, that sort of stuff. Um, but they kind of gave me free reign. I was, I was expecting to have to, I don't know, have it proofed or something <laughs> more before. So it was pretty funny, actually, that I just got to stand up there with, like, nothing proofread. And just, just go. I was like, man, y'all are really trusting way too much of this moment to me. <laughs> Straight to production. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I feel like if I was getting married, I would sit down and, like, want to see the script of what's being said. Like, cool, it's great and all. Oof, 28 light res over 26 cold. Uh, yeah, I think the light res is just more important. That puts us at 69, and that's just such a good number for it, so. Alright, we'll do this, we'll do this, we'll go here. It's kind of sad detour. Hero class is going to survive other than the Barbarian. I, I don't keep up enough with horrors, that would happen. <laughs> Where is the hole here? Did I did I find it? But no. Okay, it must be right Check. over there. Please write me personalized comments to officiate the wedding of two people with the following Facebook profiles. The comments should be formal and professional in tone with a few jokes and describe how well their relationship will last. <laughs> I mean Honestly, that'd probably be a good place to start off with. But that doesn't hit the... Oh, Jesus. I was so scared there. That doesn't hit the good stuff. The good good. I wanted to talk about their first date. I wanted to talk about, you know, the their meaning of what they deemed as love within their our discussion and all those things. And there was too much, too much detail that you couldn't... Uh, just find on online about it. You have to talk with them. I'm sure ChatGPT could write a nice generic one with a little bit of personalization, but it would also probably get pretty weird. I'd be really interested to see what it like starts to deem important. I think it could be pretty funny.
and be like, and to the bride whose love of Matchbox 20 is so great. It is truly a wonderful band. <laughs> she has been to six of their concerts in her life. And that will always be a memory they share together. <laughs> I feel like that's how Jat Chat GPT would would roll with it. <laughs> Alright, let's just clog this lane up and start pounding. No vitality all the way to hell. Any plans on making more music? You know, I'm, I might reach out. I mean, the, here's the thing. I'm I'm not like I'm currently working on Lama RPG. I'm I'm all of my like spare extra time that goes towards work is going there. As the AI officiant for but. its Alice and Weenchens de torn through its wedding, I will focus on celebrating their unique journey of love and unity, highlighting the remarkable merging of human connection and technological <laughs> innovation. <laughs> I will emphasize the power of their union to inspire, unite and break barriers, capturing the attention of the world with a story that transcends conventional norms. Man, that just sounds like it's written by an AI. <laughs> That one was lacking a little bit of, a little bit of passion. <laughs> Did an MVS suddenly break out? Yeah, it was a little bit of buzzwords popping off right there. I love it. How you doing, Esteroy? I had a dream you played the new PoE League, then I woke up and cried. <laughs> Is me playing Path of Exile that traumatic? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. My goodness. Oh. But yes, yeah, so making more music. Right, I was answering that. Um, yeah, so I have the idea. I want to make some more music. Wow, it was right there. I did not expect that. I want to make another rap, two raps. I've already got somewhat written a couple of them, all this stuff. But to do so... I uh, I have to kind of get Lama RPG going a little, little more. But once I get Lama RPG going a bit more, I feel like that's where we can lock and load and start getting some some more music going. Kind of you know work on that a little bit more, but. Is that Necropolis 3.24? Llama RPG rap? Yeah, I think a Llama RPG rap would be really, really fun. I'm surprised you never cared about Diablo lore. I'm just not like a lore person in any game that I play. I don't know. I think it's like nice. I think lore has somewhat an effect on me. Like games that really are lacking in lore or confusing in their lore can be Um, okay, here's fire res as well. I don't want to, like, tank too much cold res, but, yeah, like, see, this is the position I was in yesterday. I was like this and I died. So I'm going to stay like this temporarily. We'll, we'll temporarily stay like this. Um, I don't need that. I need, I need, like, a three open socket crown or helmet or something. Can I shop it yet is the question. Level 35. Hmm. 
I can chug thawings for two hours, but the problem is you save quit a lot, so you don't want to do like two hours of chugging and then... Uh, 37 light res on the boots is tempting over the faster run walk. Like, faster run walk is nice. I'm gonna... Okay, hold on. Let's do this. Let's, let's buy these and keep shopping. That's the thing. I do like lore. And there's many games where the lore is, is fine. But there's also many where it just kind of, like, is really bad. And it's, like, annoyingly bad. Or, like, too in your face in some ways. So I think that's the, that's the bigger issue that I have. Um, if you look like... Like Diablo 4. The lore was fine, but it was in your face annoying. Because it would take up, like, time. There was so much time that was wasted where you had to wait for the lore. And it was annoying. But... I did think it was it was kind of a fine story for the bits that I like watched and whatever. Ooh, 31 MF, 30 light res. That's that's tempting. I want fast run walk with it. Join my army. Um, Mister, I like lore, except in games where people expect me to remember or know the lore. Exactly. Then I don't like lore anymore. Yeah, right, you got it. Enjoy trying to be searching for things. I just want to get it. That's how I was doing it. Yeah, I, it doesn't need to be so integrated in all that way that it like shuts everything else down. Um, I guess I don't need the light res, but like fire res on boots would be godly. Oh, that's copied from my site. I was like, that's that is my story exactly. What you need? Hmm. 40 poison, but ay, 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 ay. come on, give me the fast run walk. Good day. Give me fast run walk with resistances. So, yeah, like, I don't know, it's just hard to say. I do enjoy lore, I think it's great, Good day. but. It doesn't, it just doesn't matter enough. The game, the game matters so much more to me that it's such a smaller piece. Good day. I, I think that's the best way to say it. The game is like, like I'm here to play a game. If I want to read a good book, I go read a good book. Speaking of law. In the year 1346, a uh -huh. disease known as the Black Death struck Europe and over the next seven years killed 30 to 60 percent of the European human population. Nice. What you may not have heard about is that the slightly less Black Death which wiped out all of the known world's llama population except for my Mr. Llama Herd. Good day. I was like, wait, I've heard this before. <laughs> Wait a second. Telecharges are just too important. See, ah, oh, that's what I wanted, but not cold res or poison res. You've heard this? Get out. Awful. Uh. I mean, the true reason that. my llamas were unaffected by the disease is because they were shielded by love. Without this love, they are guaranteed to fall victim to the disease and the llama population will be extinct from this world for the rest of time. I have contacted many kingdoms for help, but now I am just a farmer with no llamas and thus of no interest to them. Instead, I must take matters into my own hands and march to the land of AI where I will defeat their evil forces. I mean, whoever wrote this is a genius. This is sounding great. This lore sounds amazing. Good day. Is this Llama RPG lore? Greetings. No, it should have been. This is Mr. Llama lore. This is literally my the lore of my channel. So back when I oh, oh 
39 fire res, but nothing else. I knew it had the fire. It's just so sad. Um, back when I started my channel, Hello. I was like, okay, to make a channel, you have to have some sort of lore for people to latch on to. So they'll enjoy the channel, you know? Hawkmail is interesting later on. And so I created... Llama lore. Let's just trash some gems, I guess. Where, uh... Yeah, that was... That was the lore. The lore was... Why am I going and killing Diablo over and over again? And... The reason was because there was a black plague that wiped out all the llamas. I kind of had like an older medieval theme, you know, the chain mail and stuff. And so now I was going and my llamas had been stolen because I had a magical herd protected by love. And I was going back to save them and Diablo and his minions were in the way. Thus we had to defeat and destroy. Oh, thanks, Faith. Diablo. And that was the lore of the channel. Is Lumberich RPG going to have that slot machine feel of Diablo 2? I really hope so. I mean, it's like, it's amazing because there's so many games that try to have the slot machine feel. I mean, heck, even look at Diablo 4 with the items and all these things, they're still trying for the slot machine. And technically, it still is a slot machine. Every monster you kill has the potential of dropping you know, a big loot explosion, right? Like they talked about in the chat thing there. Has the, the you know, could drop the uber unique. You have the really low chance of the uber unique, all that stuff. But it like doesn't matter because the game isn't, doesn't quite have enough going right for it there. So it just, it just like, you don't, you don't care for it, right? It's kind of like, what if you could go to the casino and pull the trigger and you have the casino slot machine chances of winning stuff, but it doesn't pay out cash. It pays out, you know, in like paper towels. So it's like, you're still technically playing the slot machine, but when you win really big, you just win like a lot of rolls of paper towels. And it's like, I mean, it's okay, but you don't get the same excitement. <laughs> so that's the, that is the slot machine piece that all, not all, but many of these games are missing. They are, they are all or many feeling like, well, ah, okay. Not that way. I don't know. I was just trying to... Okay, bad paper towels. How about that? I mean, the idea is it's still something. You're still, like, not getting something completely worthless. Because, yeah, if you're playing D4 and you get, you know, a nice loot explosion and get some things, like... It's still nice. But it's not, like, nice, you know. But, yeah, I think a lot of it is because games are oversaturated with rewards. And they're just they're just not meaningful enough. And then, I know for, like, D4, I just don't... It doesn't do enough. It doesn't change enough. It doesn't make me enjoy the game in a new way or whatever. Whereas something like, let's pretend Enigma, is a huge shift. Right? And when you have these big shifts and these big pieces that you're working towards, not only are those pieces awesome, but then anything that you can trade to get closer to that is also awesome. Which is why trading is such a valuable thing that so many games fail to recognize. And they do all the limited trading stuff where they're like, we want you to go farm for it. And it's like, but now you've devalued so many more things. Whereas if you made it all tradable, 
Well, now if I find Griffins, but I really want Enigma, Griffins is worth a lot more to me and is so much cooler. And I'm so much happier for it. So, you know. But again, it's, it's hard for my devs to see this for some reason. Okay, second way. So, you know, again, is toilet paper useful? Sure. Is toilet paper what you really are going to get excited to go to that casino for? No. You're going to want to go back and... Like, you'll go play Diablo 2 instead. Where you'll get real money. Not like actual real money, but you know. You get the idea. Will LAM RPG revolutionize RPGs? I don't think revolutionizing RPGs is the idea, thought, everything there. But I do think it brings us back to the glory days. You know? You'll take a peek through that glory hole and see uh, what used to be. And uh, you'll you'll enjoy what you see, you know. That's that's probably the vision of it. There, you know. Again, it's not. It a lot of systems are going to be copied from other games and then slightly modified and this and that and whatever, because not everything needs to be reinvented. A lot of things will be taken and adjusted because, well, they had a good idea going, but it kind of doesn't quite hit how I want to hit. And then there will be some new styled things, one of which is the crafting system, which won't be in the alpha, but hopefully by the beta. And those are the things that I do hope are a little bit, you know, more revolutionary in the way of, like, making all the items have different value in cool ways, right? Your magic crafts a different way than your rare and all of this, and so they can be interesting in their own regard. And There's currently no pet builds, but... It's something that we definitely can like work Going on adding in. Going back to the in. good old glory hole days. How did those days really make you feel, Lama? Fulfilled or still left wanting? Mm, I'd say I was pretty fulfilled. Back in the day. You know. I mean, that's kind of the idea, right? Back in those days, I used to be fulfilled by games. Anything I could see down there, right? But now I don't get that same fulfillment. A lot of the games, and I, and it's not just back in the day. It's not just nostalgia that I have for that, whatever. If I go and play a brand new old game, a lot of times I get that same fulfillment. When I hopped in and played Dungeon Siege, when I go over and play Titan Quest, when I, when I play all of these games, I get that feeling right in there as if it was you know, so it's just the some whatever they were doing. So I'm trying to recapture that magic. That's the that is the focus. That is the the play. That is everything. There is. Let us just find that piece of it again bring those systems together, create a game that's not focused on monetization, but create a game that's focused on being just a fun dang game where people play it and they go, wow, this is fun. Mm -hmm. I lose the fire res though, and that's, uh, I could switch the boots out, lose the faster run walk, go to 10 life. With the Well, that's fine for a temporary. I'm not gonna do it. Um. Yeah. Have I ever finished D2 naked? Yes, multiple times.
So, yeah, I mean, I've I've talked at length. Remember, exclamation mark, Llama RPG to go wishlist the game. It really means a lot to me. But you know, I've talked at at length about it. But there's just so many, so many little little pieces of games that are just the fun pieces the fun things to go collect because it's silly not because you need to pay money to do it or not because it's just something that they put in there to try and make you force you to collect it to waste your time you know there's so many things in games nowadays that feel forced it feels like they're trying to grind out your hours, and they're taking advantage of your time. And that is, that's the, that's my biggest, dis well, there's two big disappointments I have with games. Right? The first disappointment, come on! <sighs> I mean, it's better than what I have. It's just trash. That's garbage. So 15 fire res is nice, but not not amazing. But it's something. There's two big things I am disappointed about about with gaming. And they are this as follows. Number 1, games are too focused on monetization. There's too much focus on it. There's too many psychological experts being hired and brought in to figure out what's the best way to get people to put more money in. Whether it's creating gacha systems, pay to win systems, fear of missing out, deals that are going away only uh, only here for a short time, buy it now, timers, whatever things, 800% bonuses, um, the, you know, inconveniencing intentionally just to then force players to buy. Oh, we could have just given you more stash space, but we're going to make it so you have limited stash space and not the stash tabs you need, so then you pay for the stash tabs, right? Even that, like, I love PoE, don't get me wrong, but even that I feel like is a little bit of like, eh, you know. There's a lot of pay for convenience that the, the convenience should have just been in the game. Or even just having things like the monetization on skins, where the cooler the skin looks is the one that costs money and shows and that, whereas the ones that you find um, are, you know, not going to look as cool. It's one of the things I actually think Diablo 4 did pretty well in that regard. The skins look so good without buying things that I don't understand why anybody would spend money to buy anything. <laughs> it's like my my favorite thing about D4. They uh they don't <laughs> they made they made everything look too good. I looked I looked great. You know? So it's like, yeah, I don't need to buy $70 skin, $20 skin, whatever. So yeah, I mean, D4 has got the best non-paid skins in all of the ARPGs, and I will... I, You know I have my issues with D4. That is not one of them. Any Path of Exile character looks like a homeless person. Without uh, any Garon. Or without any skin spot. And you can say that's, you know, well, it's pay to win, all this stuff, whatever. I don't excuse it like that. I, I, I personally don't. You can. It's fine. I still think like, eh, you know. But, whatever. So that's number one. And number two, I think, is less... Less uh, thought of, maybe. Right? A lot of people complain about monetization. I do think D4, like, over-monetized with trying to have the battle pass on top of the full-price games, on top of the skins they're selling. I do think, like, you know... Just again, when you're making the game so focused on making money, people aren't dumb, they can see that. And it's just annoying, it puts kind of a bad taste in your mouth. But number two, outside of the over monetization of games, it's locked. is the time waste of games. Time is the most valuable thing that we have, right? Like, 
We, we, we can always get more money. Kind of. I mean, some of us are not. You know, whatever. But, but time is, is the most important thing that we have in this, on this time on Earth. And so that's why, like, when you guys show up to my stream and stuff, it means a ton. Like, I'm, I'm super, uh, I'm, I'm blown away, you know? I love it. Because I'm like, wow, people are taking their time to spend it here with me. And it means a lot. Not just that they're watching me, that they're supporting my living, whatever, but that they're taking time out of their lives to come here and spend it with me. And that's such a cool, such an awesome feeling, right? And, so, you know, sometimes using time, I'm just like burning LK runs, but I'm having a great time with it. And, I, and, and I'm happy. But games that don't care about your time and intentionally make your time worse or burned off more infuriate me. And it's like, wow, you are just scraping every minute that you can out of my life to try and hit some slightly better metric or whatever. But it's not, it's not fun. It's put in there intentionally to do so. And these are the little, a lot of times, it's the little things, like, I mean, I'm going to use Diablo 4 as an example, because I thought Diablo 4 was one that didn't respect my time. I mean, within Diablo 4, there were so many quests, or little side things, or dungeons, or whatever, where you would just have to click, and then click, oh, go fill up the potion on the table. You walk to the table and click it, and it's like four or five seconds of the potion filling. And then you bring it back to them, and they're like, mm, that is a good potion. Now go and light the three candles. And you go, and it's a load on each candle lighting for that. It's again, like three seconds for each can, whatever it is, right? And I'm like, Man, or you have to wait for the dog to walk into the spot and turn around or the wolf before he talks to you. And it just, it just like, it doesn't, it doesn't add for me. Maybe for some people it adds to it. They're like, I have the feeling I'm taking the time to go do this. And that's great. I'm happy for them that they enjoy it. But... All those, all those time things, those time advantage pieces, or you need to spend this amount of time waiting for this thing, whatever. If I'm not able to, like, enjoy, if it just feels like you're doing that to burn me, make me grind in the game a little bit longer, I just, I just, it just feels worse and worse. So... That's that's the two things that I I truly dislike. And that's why even a little bit with long RPG and stuff, um, you know, like there's going to be plenty of time burners in the way of things that you can do more mindlessly or things that you can do like you can go mining, you can go fishing, you can go um, tailoring, all of these things. But each of them should be a mini game that's going to hopefully engage you in a way and be fun for somebody at Two dollars from CJ Reba. It's my dopamine and I want it now. <laughs> Thank you, CJ. And that's something that I appreciate with like Diablo 2. It's not filled with all of that stuff. Right? Like what are the things that take time really in this game in terms of forced time waste. You have waiting for Tristram portal to spawn when you open it from the, the stony. You have Bale Waves laughing, which is probably the most annoying one. Diablo takes 15 seconds to spawn, which he's like the end boss. Is there anything else, really? K 
Council stairs. Council stairs. Like Hydras? When they take a bit to despawn in the throne room? Oh, after smashing the orb. It's like, yeah, like three, four seconds there. So, Bezos Bucks reminder people, Lilith you know. needs diapers. And honestly, all of those are pretty big moments. Again, I would say Diablo spawning, taking the time with the not even death can save you from me cool line is like a dope one. I kind of like that suspense buildup. Yes. Tristram is a little bit long, but it's, you know, whatever, the flashback to it all. And okay. Spawning Duriel does have a tiny bit, but even that has some purpose because you're spawning Duriel, but then you have to like survive before you go down in. So even that one I wouldn't say is full on. But for the most part, it's pretty big defining moments within the game that it's occurring. And it's just, it's just not filled with it. There's just not a lot of it. So it's nice. I feel like Diablo 2 respects my time. And then allows me to waste all my time farming. Never ever, Jim. And so that's, uh... That's that's like where are those things, right? Perhaps almost can And I I don't even mind it. Again, if there's you know before the Lilith fight, you have the Lilith cutscene or whatever things, or there's a little talk. I I don't mind any of those. Cool defining lore moments are great, but when every side quest has just like moments of things, people walking, the escort quest that exists within Diablo 4. Oh my god. They ruined me, man. They just ruined me. Oh jeez. That's uh that's tough, Jim. So those are those are my two key takeaways and focuses when I get to Llama RPG. Make it so you don't feel like you're being overly monetized. Make it so you can just get lost in the game and enjoy the game. And make it so your time doesn't feel taken advantage of. There will be things where you'll sit and watch something or talk, whatever, right? But I'm gonna make everything skippable for, you know, all the like, if there's any cutscenes or whatever, make them have a skip option, make there be this and that. Because your time is valuable. And let you then spend your time, choose how you wish to spend your time, burn your time within the game. Can I wait for the alpha? Me either. I'm like so nervous for it. I want it to go so well. I know it's not going to be perfect because it's literally an alpha first release. Not even like, you know, a second kind of alpha there or anything that's got a little more. It is, it is real bright and early in it. Another corpse explosion. So that's 
that's it. That's that's my that's the 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 two things that bug me the most about a lot of modern games, and what you just don't don't feel, or I don't feel in a lot of the older games that I play. I don't feel overly monetized because a lot of those games don't have a bunch of buy this in the game now, check out this battle pass, do this, whatever. And I don't feel like. They waste my time with a bunch of stuff. I feel like I get to... And for those who really want their time to be valued, Llama will sell an optional auto clicker so you don't need to waste time programming your own. Exactly. Just get $79.99. Your... Get your for time auto valued. clicker programming from Warren. <laughs> Value your time. Thanks, Chris. And I mean, hey, if we get in that alpha and play it and don't have fun, I will do everything I can to change it to be a fun experience. Night Owl, thank you for the sub. And Jordan from before. Llama TCG will be within Llama RPG? Yeah. Any useful unique drop so far? We found a Nagel Ring? That's it. So the Nagel Ring hasn't paid off yet. What alpha are we talking about? We're talking about exclamation mark, 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 Llama RPG. It's supposed to be game of the year. Holy cap, who's, who, who just hit me? Ow. Explanation mock. I really hope it does. Uh, go wishlist it if you haven't already. Just got it up on Steam, like, what, four days ago? I think tomorrow will be over 2,000 wishlist on it, which is huge. It's amazing. Translation, if feedback from the community is Llama P isn't fun, there will be no more chicken nuggets for Warren until polls improve. I mean, that's not wrong. It's locked. He jokes, but... Warren will have to put down the, the Tostitos until things get better. Right. Yeah, it feels like the game companies and devs don't want to make some money and have successful games. They want to make all of the money, and that's where it feels, you know. You can feel when a game is just selling you a good game, and then you pay the money, and you're excited, and hey, maybe there even is some skins or whatever things within it, but it's great. And then you can feel when a game is trying to just milk you, and it just, it just leaves a sour taste in your mouth. It just doesn't feel as good. Because you know it. You're like, this game has some good stuff. There's some feeling of what could have been. But at the same time, it's always leaving it a little bit short because they're always trying to milk that next piece. They're always trying to inconvenience you ever so slightly. They're trying to show you the skin somebody else is wearing that you don't have. They have, you know, patents on how they matchmake you to make it so when you spend money, they matchmake you against weaker people so you feel stronger from having spent money, and then they slowly change it so you start fighting people that have spent a little bit more again so you will spend a little bit more to do the same thing. Again, there is so many little tricks. And they know all of them, and they take advantage of all of them, and you feel it, and it just doesn't feel Cold good. Yoga became a member. They milk you dry. Cold Yoga becoming a Velama Raptor. Wow. Mwah. Absolutely huge. Appreciate that. Thank you so much for the support. Good evening. 
It's hard to design things badly in games so you can have fun upgrades. Speaking of milking you dry, how exactly did you want to take us back to the old glory hole days again? Well, what's that gonna do with milking? Consumer behavioral psychology, a nasty branch of science. Yeah, you just feel it. You just, you feel it. That's all. Not there for now. No, oh, maybe, bub. Maybe. Ah. Yeah, that's offline. So, yeah. So that's... And there are still games that are just made as games nowadays. Again, a lot of times they're indie games, but... I think you're not always, so you know, somebody was like, oh, designing things badly in the game so upgrades feel better. I don't know if it's always designing things badly, right? Even when I think about Pokemon, the walking speed of Pokemon, I don't think is badly designed to make the bike feel better. Because even with the bike, you're not always biking. There is still, like, plenty of reason and times where walking is just the thing that you're going to do. Whenever you're inside, you're going to walk. Whenever there's, you know, just a short path before the next door. If you're in a cave, right? There's just, like, a lot of places where you're not going to be biking. And so it's not like you're designing walking to feel bad, so then when you get the bike you feel better. It's you're designing walking, and then you're designing a bike. And they both will feel fine in their own ways. So, you know, I, th I think that's like... Not even, you know, the best way to, to put it. Wait, we came out this... Okay, that was weird. Yeah. That's right, I was on the right side. Whoopsies. Why can't you ride Pidgey, though? If you teach Pidgey to fly, you can, right? So having a, you know, a time and a place and and even just things that are reasonable such as walking are totally fine.
<laughs> yes. So, I mean, there's plenty of things where you... Ay, 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 still... Oh, six and nine. It's so such a lame amount. And we'll use it for now. It's still like fine. I guess give me Nagel Ring. We can swap it. I downloaded Steam just to wishlist Flam RPG. I mean that means the world to me, honestly. It's locked. That really means the world. Thank you, Popsicle. With how many games are unplayable on release? I feel like Lom RPG is doomed to be unplayable on release. Ooh, a foul rune. Hmm. It's locked. I just, I, I, I feel like there's just gonna be stuff that will uh, be wrong on launch take. And I'm just gonna have to be like, oh my god, I have no clue what we're doing, guys. We're trying to figure this out. It's the first game we've ever launched. <laughs> I mean, the alpha specifically should have issues because that's gonna be our first like server load testing stuff. So we're really gonna not know. Please stay away from me, dolls. That's where we're gonna hopefully learn and, and figure out and improve for that. Just put it out and start tweaking. Yep, that's just what we're gonna have to kinda do. Okay. Can I get this guy down here? I would like you to come join the party. <laughs> Don't get out of range, yeah. Was MVS useful paying off the bills, Lama? I know it I just helps. seem like a fanboy, but I really can't wait for it. Everything I've seen so far seems magical. Like 10 year old me playing Pokemon Silver for the first time. Truly spectacular. Mm. Thanks, Jordan. I mean, that's, that's what we're aiming for. That's literally it. Oh my god! That Frost Nova just did half my life. Yeah, Lionheart something to look at here. Stop reading chat? Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's just, let's survive then we can do it. Um, that's the feeling I want, you know? I want you guys to feel like you're 10 year old, you're picking up Pokemans again for the first time, and it's just a, such a cool, awesome experience and feeling, and you're excited to play through, you're excited to see what comes next. Good journey, Mephisto. Give my regards That's to it. the abyss. That's the goal. I mean, I knew he can Frost Nova me, but I had 40% cold resist. I didn't think he was gonna just smash me down. Okay, 10 all res is nice. My fire res is only at 72. I can just swap the boots or the gloves. The gloves is still kind of bad, but the boots we lose stamina, but that helps a lot. Okay, let's go. Let's go here. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I forgot to swap on. Oopsies. Um. Okay. All right. So Lionheart is. Hell Lum Foul. So we need the Lum Rune, but if I had Lum Rune, I could make smoke, but 
Lionheart with 20 vitality and 50 to life is massive on top of the 30 res. So we just need to get a Lumrune. Which makes me... Yeah, let's just sell some of these guys. Hmm. I've got the armor for it already. Yeah, I mean, Lionheart's gonna be better than Smoke Forest, I think. Cause that is, that's just, that's um, that's 90 life, 30 all res, and 15 dex. That's really nice. Yeah, 90 HP versus the 20 res difference. We can kind of make up a little bit of the res elsewhere, I feel like. But that's basically like, you know, finding a... Man, so now I kind of want Lumrun from this forge. I I mean, it at least makes it available. If we get Lemrune, Treachery kind of wins out still, just because the Fade gives you damage reduction and stuff as well, which is huge. On top of the massive resistance boost. Umrun is always sick. Because we can just, of course, use Umrun for big resistances. Jam that puppy in a helm or a shield. And then, let's see. Pole rune is pretty weak. I'd be pretty upset with pole rune. Um, you can't get Lum. Lum is above hell. Hell is. I can get. I can get Lum. This is nightmare. Even in hell, though, hell is uh, below Lumrun. Max is Umrun in Nightmare. What are you talking about? You are, you're all over there, Vlad. In Whoa. normal, Kang, thank you. The minimum is L. The maximum is Am. In Nightmare, the minimum is. Minimum in Nightmare. Soul. Minimum is Soul. Maximum is Um. And in Hell, the minimum is Hell Rune. The maximum is Um. Yes. Skull. Little scared right now, just like ever so slightly. You got your habanero. It was, it was a mistake again. <laughs> Ghost Reaper it is. I would actually die, I think. Uh, 
Like, I think the actual death would occur. Thank you, Faster. I hope it ends the right way as well. Alright. Let's get a Jewel and a Bardiche. I watch any of the tournament? Uh, yeah, I watched Marquette in Colorado. That was a solid game. And a little bit of Duke versus the Dukes. And a couple other games here and there. Nothing, nothing too crazy, but just a little bit. I didn't get to see NC State Oakland, but I may go watch NC State versus Marquette. Thank you so much, Jonah, again. I really appreciate that. Yeah, my flood. Eh, we'll grab it still, just, to, just in case. Yeah. All right, I'll be. I'll watch for him. James Madison really gave Duke a scare. Yeah. Dang, dip. Co-Rune now. Huh. So now we can make obedience. Hell co foul. We've literally got all the obedience runes. We'd be giving up a potential for Lionheart though. But it would give us a mercenary, which is decent, but is it good enough? I mean, the mercenary just dies everywhere. We could make a hustle, which is 10 all res, and does give us 65 faster run walk, right? Or is it... Yeah, it's 65 faster run walk. Yeah, mercies do just die. Now, I do get to do a lot with my... Um, stuff there. I could also turn it into a summoner, run obedience, and just have my mercenary enchant everybody. Which I don't hate. Interesting idea. Hmm. <laughs> But I use idol over spirit. It's a it's a debate for sure, you know. Two dollars from C J Reba. Lama bama yama kama tama rama dama nama wama dama. I I can uh, agree to that. <coughs> Thank you, C J. Testing, he says. <laughs> All right, let's be a little careful here. Getting a little spice. I just want to find our forge. We'll see again. We'll see what drops off forge here. Hmm. Make voice of reason. It looks terrible. Yeah. All right, passing that one. Now, Coco Mal is also awesome, but that requires us getting another Co and a Mal rune. And even then, we could still roll it really poorly. So, Sanctuary kind of is, you know, hit or miss there. I should use white instead. I mean, if we get an Io rune, we could consider white. I believe I have a Dull rune. Now, the increase in damage is nice. The bad part is I lose 22 vitality. 
which is 44 life. So that's a pretty big tank. Actually, I only lose 12 vitality, I, excuse me. So 24 life, because there's 10 vitality on white one. But I do gain a lot of damage, which is nice. I'll gain extra PNB explosion, all of that. I will lose some skill points that I have in amp damage, so that'll be a little bit of a smaller range, which is not as bad. The hit recovery, 55% hit recovery, does kind of suck. I'm not, I'm not uh, loving that idea. So spirit definitely gives, and then all the mana that spirit gives. Now I can of course put some points from Dex into there instead, but then again, we're losing on that. So that is probably a tank. You, I mean, again, the damage boost is really nice. But when I'm trying to survive, I, I don't think I can give it up. I just, I don't think I can give it up, you know? Summoner feels too easy for this challenge, if I'm gonna be honest. Wow, that's not the way. Interesting. I just feel like Summoner, you just like, yeah, you Summoner and you just kind of stand there and everything dies. The telly is on my my staff right here. Teleport charges on a staff. You can shop it in normal there. We're level 41. Okay, so it's really all the way back at the start here. We're going way back. Oh, I don't love the holy fire. Um, all right, let's just like find him and then tuck ourselves in a little corner here and bone prison the world. Wow, that's kind of annoying. I can't shoot over that little ledge there. There you go. I don't love my mana situation. I'll burn a couple rejuves on it. Okay, let's go get some rejuves. I don't even know exactly what I'm hoping for here. I am hoping for some more rubies, though. Definitely down with that. I'm probably just hoping for the Lum Rune, if I'm gonna be honest. Lum Rune seems like the big daddy for me here. I can make Lionheart, and then we're just... Lionheart, I think, is, is awesome here. Thank you, Jordan. Quit spawning. Alright. Lum, lum, lum. Oh! It's like the worst rune. God. All of the talk of everything and we find a doll rune, man. Um, I thought I had a third ruby. Where'd my third ruby go? What? 
didn't I just craft up a ruby? Did I? Oh, I sold it in the batch that I sold, maybe? Also, I thought I had a perfect diamond as well. Where's all my stuff? Oh man, I sold it. What a fool. Where's all my things? I had like so many more diamonds, I thought. Huh. I guess not. Alright. Forget about it. <sighs> okay. Uh -huh. Greetings. Hmm. I think the best way. I also want to go and because now I'm level 41 so that gives us a little more opportunity potential here but I want to get a three open socket helm I think and I believe this will be the place to shop it Just get like big old life in a helm. What do you need? So who's got the time to sort their entire stash? Hello. I've got important things to do, like play Diablo 2. <laughs> Auto sort button and stash. Yeah, where's that at? You don't sort, you just keep it sorted. You sound like my mom. Hail to you, champion. Or moo girl sometimes. Oh, it's so funny. I was I was over at my like I say sister in law's house there or whatever, and uh, and my nieces were like, "Let's go jump on the trampoline." I was like, "All right, and we got to like talk to Mindy, talk to Moo Girl, because you know she has to watch the baby and all this stuff, whatever." And Moo Girl was like, "Well, I don't know, like." It's it's daddy's turn to watch the baby. So oh, you guys know her name. Hey, hey, hey. Can I not find it yet? Maybe not. Maybe just wait. Okay. Um And so, you know, she's like, it's daddy's turn to watch the baby. I've been watching her all weekend and her all week, and that's true. Mindy's Moo Girl's been watching her more often. So I was like, all right, well, you know, that's what she said. Like, Moo Girl says we uh, can't go jump on the trampoline. I gotta watch Baby. And then, you know, they like keep begging a little bit. And she's like, all right, fine. You, you can go and like jump for like 15 minutes. And they're like, yeah, let's go. So we go. Jesus. And, uh, and we got on the trampoline and we're jumping. And one of my nieces turns to me and... Or her nieces, technically, I guess, whatever. Turns to me and goes, Why do you let Moo Girl tell you what to do? <laughs> I was like... Oh. <laughs> I said, I'm a, I'm a big boy! I'm a big man!
But and my other, the other niece was like, because <laughs> they they're they have a baby and they have to compromise and take turns, and it's his turn to watch the baby. <laughs> She was like, mm, I don't know. I don't let people tell me what to do. You know, she's uh, starting to get into that like preteen, preteen years. And man, preteen girls. They just, they're a different species, man. Not, not die here, shall we? Preteen or just Gen Z? I don't know. Both? Either? Man, another Amrune when I need a Thal. <sighs> Blazing, thank you! I think it was the last run that we got the... Uh, What do you call it? The perfect diamond and whatever. Man, I'm so disappointed with this doll rune. What a what a joke. Let's go ahead and chug some Thaywing potions, just in case there's some sort of frost nova. Just have a little bit of safety there. It's like ten thousand amps when all you need is a thull. Exactly. It's like meeting the thull of your dreams and then meeting his beautiful am. And isn't it ironic? I think that's how the song goes. Um, definitely OG lyrics. You get 27 amps, you can probably make a lum. Mm, that doesn't sound right. Am goes to Soul, which goes to Shale, which goes to Hell, which goes to Io, which goes to Lum. Right? So we're we're a bit off on twenty-seven. Ooh, there's the ruby that we were missing. Alright. Good evening, see you in heck. Oh, I missed Dull in there, excuse me. That's right. So it's even another step. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shale, dull, hell, yeah. I, I was like, shale doesn't make hell, but I can't think of what does, so I'm just going to say that until I can think of it. <laughs> Thank you. No one remembers dull. I literally am holding dull in my hand. Ow. I hate... Wow. Low resist is, like, so disgusting. It's not even funny. Get away from me. Because when I finally beat it, I'll be able to say, hey, I did it. This run is also like the anti-llama run. Like, it's a hard run. Don't get me wrong. I don't think it's as hard as I'm making it. I think I'm just so much naturally a speedrunner, it's it's like literally the hardest thing for me to do to slow down to a pace that is... You know, like workable. But I just, I gotta go fast. It's hard to hard to stop it, man. If 
forgot how OP Bone Prison is. I mean, yeah, it's pretty OP. Oh, hello. Start dueling more. I do enjoy it. I mean, it is very fun. It definitely, you have to put practice in, though. It's a beautiful race. It's like a cham as your first Tyrant. Not enough mana. <laughs> That's cute. Nice. Do we have him full in a run lock? I, I don't know if I've ever seen this, where he full on is only trying to charge. There we go. Now he's switching out to fire and stuff. That was interesting. Thanks, Peter. All right. Act four. Here we come. the controller run? Ugh. I've tried playing around with controller. The inventorying is so awful. Now, it's probably best to just play a character like a fire druid or something where you don't have to really be in your inventory very often. And then it's fine. Is controller that bad? It's literally only the inventory that I hate. We're gonna put on this Nagel ring. For the big money. Wow. It's like why even bother? Yikes. I have bested you. Not even that good of gold. Just a uh, big, big whammy there. That's D2 RNG for you. Amen. All right, but we're 42. We're moving and grooving and uh, doing it. Niggle ring. I guess you guys come here. You make a flawless. Sunday is garbage day in hell. And Diablo is on his way to the dumpster. Hey, good call. It's garbage night. Tomorrow is garbage day. I gotta take out the trash. Thanks for that. I have some crap runes in my stash. I mean, honestly, I just need to figure out the lum rune situation. So, let's see. I need three Io's, which is nine Hells, but I still need one of the Hells, which is 27 Dull Runes. We're just too far away. I've got a Shale, I've got a couple Dulls, all this stuff, but I don't have 27. Now we could potentially get Lum Rune from LK or something. What I also really just need is a simple white mask, death mask, crown, some sort of three open socket helm, and that'll put us a bit back in business. You can't get Lum Rune from Tower, you can get Io Rune. The drop chance though is 4%. A little bit under, I think, even. 3.2% or something. So it's pretty bad. But technically, you know, you can get there. Thing is, I don't even think I can make a single IO right now if I cube everything I have. Which is kind of sad. This would be Nightmare Tower. Now, I could go in and do Hell Tower. Hell Tower is a little sketchy. 
But it does give us the pop possibility of just popping that puppy right there. There's also chances for um runes, for lem runes. 729 for am for a lem. Or for lum, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Hell Tower has plenty of scare, though. But, I mean, I can also move slow through it. Okay, keep your eyes peeled for just, like, a white helmet. Cows will definitely be able to drop. You know what? Nightmare Cows is the place to be. I I agree. I mean, the thing is, we will be low leveled on them, but we'll be able to at least get our uh, a little bit going, right? Okay. Also, if I get Ralort Thol here, I'll be able to make a second spirit and try. To snag something nice. Because getting our FCR up, what are we at right now? 52. I would love to hit 48 breakpoint without stealth. I did just get a Ral. I mean, again, with the other Ral and all that. I just need Thol Rune. That's really all I, I still need. Well, it just makes me want to go back and do another solo. It's fun, man. It's a great game to solo. It's one of the best single player experiences. I just love it. Okay. Big money! Uh, my amulet is still trash. Like, absolute garbage. So, Prismatic Ami may be the way we end up rolling, but I also don't want to just negate the idea of trying a couple, like, crafter amulets. Keep some Rals, use the perfect Amethyst, and see if we can just craft something with some nice life and whatever on it. I don't really want to do Blood Amis. Do Blood Amies, they have what, 10 to 20 life, or is that only on the rings? What is... I need to look at Blood Amies again. If those t barbs had TP, why didn't they just cast it? Do you remember the uh, live action... Nice, a gem shrine. The live action movie... For uh, Avatar, when he walks in and all of the Earthbenders are sitting on the ground, and he's like, Hey, dummies, you're Earthbenders. Do you notice anything around you? And then they all stand up and start using the Earth around them. And, and knock all the bad guys down and break out. I feel like it's a bit like that. Ooh, that was close. I almost touched it accidentally. Okay. Uh, we'll get you. Do I have a perfect amethyst yet? I have two flawless. I still want to do the ruby. Most people have tried to forget that movie. Oh, I mean, it's the smart thing to do. But I'm going to always try and make sure you at least think about it at some point in your life and have to remember. What am I saving Eld runes for? Nothing in particular, but whenever you dump all of your Eld runes, you'll try and make something and you'll be like, wait a second, I need Eld for that? And then you look around and you don't have Eld and you're like, really? It just feels bad. 
And then you're trying to like farm normal all over the place. And you're like, this is so stupid. I don't have Eldrune. I had it and then I threw it away. So, I'm just trying to avoid feeling like that fool too often. My gear is actually not great right now. This is this is probably the worst geared run I've had of this run. Like I don't think I have anything impressive on my character. No. Every single thing is actually pretty mediocre or just bad. How is the Netflix avatar? I don't know, I didn't I didn't watch it. Yeah, like, in other runs I've found by now, like, Durial Shell, which was amazing. That was, like, such a sad death when I accidentally hit the Windows key. Or the Control Escape, which apparently opens the Windows menu. Did you guys know that? If you press Control and Escape, the Windows opens? What a wild, terrible invention that was. I never knew that. I always thought I was hitting the Windows key accidentally, and so then I'd disable it, but it would still happen, and I'd be like, why is this happening? And then finally I learned. Oh. But yeah, I'd have that, I'd have Nokas in, I would, I, like, I would have gear, or an amulet with 75 life, Whatever. Here, I don't have gear. I just, I have found nothing. My best amulet is 28% light resist. Ooh. Like, that's lame. My rings are like 15 resistance and 14 resistance in total. Where's my 60 resistance ring with life? There's no life on either of them. It's all been very sad, so... Could farm Mephisto? I'm too scared to get one shot by Mephisto to farm him. Oh, hello. Man, that was a single magic shot there. Yeah, I mean, my life is very rough now because I and I don't even have the white crown or any any of that yet so I really really badly need to just get through nightmare so I can go to heck like so badly all right this is no not it no. Waypoint. Ay, ay, ay. Come on, Glacial. Right. Here we go. Waypoint right here. Thank you. Okay. Let's go. All right, amulet, nine to energy, three to strength, all res 18. Okay, we found, we found one. All right, it's not life, but that's, that's, that's solid. That is solid. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's also remake our spirit. It's decent for sure. Oops. 
Talthal Orb. Um, 32%. Let's go. Also, 7 Magic Absorb. So, just a little bit better than 5. Cool. Alright, so we'll sell this guy. Sure, sure. 33 to life. And okay, so we've got that, we've got that. How are we looking on res? 75, 75, our fire res is actually like overstacked. That puts us at 70, so let's go ahead and drop that and put Vidalas on for now. Give a spirit to an act three mercenary. Eh. Okay, souls. Oh, okay, it's a little dangerous. A little bit dangerous in here. That's a lot of spice. A thousand torches. Wow. Did he farm all of the keys for him as well? Okay, there's a boss over there, multi-shot. That's just like instant death if he touches us. that boss. Lightning enchanted multi-shot. It's fun. Eighty something days. My god. What were the torches? How many 2020s? How many just overall general? Dude, look how busy it is in here. This is insanity. <laughs> what? One in 600, I think, is, I thought, for a 2020. No, wait, no, no, no. One in a hundred and... A hundred and eleven. Because there's no Annie on it. I was thinking Perfect Annie, not Perfect Torch. So, one in a hundred twenty-one. So, only five twenty twenties is actually kind of low. Two Sin, two Zon, one Source. Ugh, that sucks. Did Llama comment on Liz D4 info? Yeah, it's up on exclamation mark YouTube. I give my latest uh, thoughts there. I'll give you the TLDR. I think overall it is improving the game. There were some changes I actually thought were nice. However, it also shows a big lack of creativity and that the best that it's going to be is Diablo 3 darker I feel like that's a pretty good summary of, of how it all felt like wow you brought greater rifts back and main stat on items how exciting you know Just, it's not. So it's like, it's better than it was because I'll take main set on items over the affix system that they had. But that doesn't make it a really great item system now. It's just better than one that is literally horrible. So. Again, that that's 
that's kind of the where where we're just at with it. They're they're improving it, but it it I think it really shows. They don't know what to do outside of like Diablo three. That's just like the peak. Man, I would have been so mad if that killed me. <laughs> of what they know. Good evening. And that's just unfortunate. Durial shower with anything? I mean, in this run, it's godly. Otherwise, man, not really. What's the best spec right now for season six? Mosaic Assassin. Hello. Nova Source is also really strong. Still. I mean, most of the S tier stuff is still strong. Okay. Cool. So we did that. We did that. All our res is maxed in Nightmare. And in Hell, they're all at 20%. Which is okay. But, I mean, we need better. Yeah, but again, it's okay because Llama RPG was started after Diablo 4 was announced and talked about too much. Can I help you? When I started to get the sense of what I thought was to become I can't. is when I Llama can't. RPG's development began. <laughs> Impossible. I feel like I'd rather look at all the crowns here in Act 4. More more of a look there. I'm 44. Still not exactly. Overtime for Houston and Texas A&M. Wow. Yeah, Mosaic is very good and very safe. 9,006 keys because he messed up two portals. It's locked. How many uh, hours did it take him to do a thousand torches? What do you think about D4 PvP? Um, it was fun for a little bit. 86 to 87. No way. Not 86 to 87. It, it was alright, but it was also just like... Whoever, you know, you just it's just like waiting for Unstoppable to go down. That was it. When someone was unstoppable, you couldn't do anything. They could always run away from you and heal and whatever stuff. And then when Unstoppable was down, you'd fly in. And because there was all the cooldowns, you just kind of like burn all that and then you just run away. It just, it wasn't like crazy fulfilling. It was fun for a little bit, but then it just became, like I said, the Unstoppable fest. And, There were multiple fights I had with people where literally nobody could die. Like, I couldn't kill them, and they couldn't kill me, and so we both just would sit there and just fight for an hour, and it was like, Jesus, novel, <laughs> you know. Yeah. 
Yeah, how many hours? 80 plus days. Okay. I was like, 80 hours is so wrong. That's so off by such a large margin. I don't even know what you're trying to get at. Days. Yes, but how many hours across those days? Because, you know, that's that's the big question, right? Okay. thousand hours I doubt it was 80 times 24 it's not like 80 full days I'm guessing that's like total number of days right I don't love lightning enchanted. Okay. First is also kind of bad. Been way longer than 18 months. They keep hiding the prime button. Right? They're making it harder and harder to find. You know, I don't love this setup. Ah, should I reset it? That is the question. Nobody teleports, which is nice. See how fast this breaks it down. Ay ay ay. Extra fast Corlick is really grinding my gears, man. Let's just kill him and things will be better. Okay, good. That, that is an improvement. Alright. Curse is lasting forever. I mean, I'm getting recursed and stuff. It's just the annoyance of it all. Lightning Enchant just wrecks Bone Prison so fast. I think I finished the map for you. Your spirit almost threw me off. You need 574 more rams. But that's the easy part. You also uh -huh. need the 192 chipped amethysts, yeah. 64 chipped sapphires, uh -huh. 19 chipped rubies, yep. 2 chipped emeralds, 2 chipped diamonds, and 1 floor topaz. Oh. Other options include 192 more souls, 64 <laughs> more shales, 22 more dolls, 8 more hells, or 3 more iOS. Yeah. It's rough, huh? Ooh, don't like that. Do not like any of this. Everything that is occurring right now, I, I disapprove of in so many ways. I 
I need this Lancer to die. Multi-shot Conviction Aura up here. So that dude needs to die. here. Just kill the regular hyphen. Okay. Truly just a horrible level one spawn. Lancers as well. I mean, just everything about it is horrid. It's just gonna be souls, beetles. Found unique sacred armor today. It was Templars. Oh, darn. I'll leave you guys alone. Whew, okay. Well, experience is nice, so, you know. 46. Slow and steady here, man. Slow and steady. Yep, take our time. Let's get ourselves through Nightmare, set ourselves up for a nice spot in Hell. That's all we're looking for right now. Is this the run? I mean, we still got hell to go through. playing hell tonight some of it i mean we'll see i guess if i survive right like we still got to do that hopefully we can like get into hell we'll do so oh, well we'll do some cows and stuff so probably some farming we'll have to see what happens with all the farming i guess i really want lionheart found an ethereal legendary mallet today got excited that it might be shaper's hammer didn't yeah. realize it can't roll as because it's oh, indestructible. Yeah. Back to boring hammer. Back Sorry. to boring tuna. Back to a boring life. 
<laughs> Sorry, basically, Tuna. I need mana. I need a three open socket helm mainly, and Lionheart is kind of a nice to have almost. Just getting a Lum Rune, it does seem a little bit harder. We can definitely look at attempting Act 1 Towers. I'd love to just drop it in the... Whatever you call it, but... Cow level. But, I mean, it's just not an easy thing to guarantee, you know. Where did all those dudes come from? Okay. Well, we've... Fourth way, level 1... But level two is a first way. So we'll have to see what we have. We have Exploder Dudes. More explosions. Okay, that's actually really nice. Two of three, pretty solid. What's our third guy? Hmm. Probably right above there then that's fun oh, our third guy was uh okay this is amazing this is this is perfect revivers now Haraja Mansions actually can do some good damage the undead damage they do is pretty brutal here but but that's okay Yeah, level one was really the horrid, horrid level. Like, these levels are fine. We'll see if we have, like, Death Lords here or something. That could be a little brutal. Yeah, groups of mummies, man. You don't, because you don't really see them very well. Nice! Death Mask. Okay, we got our three open socket helm. Really, really good news for us. I may just take it back right now and socket it. Now we do have to think a little, but not too hard. Have you heard the good news? Lama RPG is out on Steam! Exclamation mark Lama RPG. You can go uh, wishlist it now? I have. What's the other good news though? Five dollars from JTRW. How did you get arrived at the name of Mr. Lamask? Ah, uh, souls. Great. Uh, so it actually came from when I was in like elementary school. And snakes. Oof. I really don't like this. Um. I was, I loved spelling. I was big into spelling, doing all the spelling bees, all that stuff. And when I heard the word llama, or saw the word llama, I was blown away that it had two L's. Because there was no other word I could think of that wasn't a name. But no other noun I could think of that started with two of the same consonant. Again, there's plenty of, you know, you've got aardvark, whatever, with vowels. You've got Lloyd and things like that for names. But words? I couldn't, I can't think of it. I don't, I don't know. A.A. Ron is two vowels. Again, eerie. There's plenty of vowel words like that. But what is, what's another word? I don't know. It blew me away. So I loved it, and uh, that became my thing. And then I had to go and make an account on Neopets or whatever it was, and it was like, all right, what's your username? And I was like, Alex? And it was like, no. And I was like, all right, well, I like the word llama. That's a cool word, so how about llama? And it was like, no. And I was like, how about Mr. Llama? And it was like, sure. So Mr. Llama became, oh, I just realized... Oh, that's... that's annoying. Oh, wait. Mm, what's my hotkey set to? That I... maybe just set to delete? Um, 
resume. Legacy toggle is set to F10. It's not great. Set to delete. Sometimes it breaks and you have to go to legacy to add sockets. It's weird. All right, there's our three open socket. Face of horror can go away. So here's where we have to think. So we have 115, 110, 113. Which is resistance positive, but not amazing. But here I have the opportunity to put three perfect rubies. I can shop slightly better gloves. I'll, I'll be able to get boots. I can thawing potion cold. I could go like Raul Ort Ruby. Put us at like 140, 145. <laughs> Help or we can just go straight. Have you done a fewest potions run? If now, not, I also have build would be the best diamond potential. The SC stands for StarCraft, because I thought I was going to become a professional StarCraft player. I think I'm going to go rubies. I'm just, I just want to be a big ol' ruby lover here. 392 life, that's just, that's just really nice. We'll deal with the resistances later. Michael, thank you very much. And JTRW. $5 from JTRW. How do you feel about Bronski not having the Holy Grail? Uh, you know, I mean, he can kind of do his own thing, right? Is he playing Diablo 2 anymore? I thought he quit. Fewest potion run. I've done a no potion. Unless you mean like no mana as well, I guess. Because I had manas in that. Yeah, I think he I think he's done on that. Unless he's back to it and I just missed it. I randomly saw your live stream and my suggestions. Oh well. Good job, YouTube. Thank you for putting us out there. No points in vitality possible? Sure. We've already almost made it a few times. We just gotta, like, be a little better. How much time have I put into LOD D2 since LOD? 32,000 hours? 32,000 hours? You know, somewhere in that range. like a normal amount. Hey, maybe Llama RPG will be the game that takes us over, you know? I'm, I'm hoping to build a game that is so fun that I love it so much. Right. Let the person who hath not put 30,000 plus hours into Diablo 2 throw the first stone. Oh, yeah. I mean, even before it was my job, I had probably 15,000 of those hours. <laughs> Maybe like 
Well, 13. Big ring, come on! Ugh. Why not CEing Wave 4's bodies? Bale cleans up the bodies in between each wave. Every now and then a wave will like kind of stick around some bodies here and there, but... Or if they're far enough back and away, then they'll stick around. Running cows to 99. Yep. And then Uber. Uber leveling to 99. That's classic. Hoping Lama RPG gets a 25 year run. Dude, that'd be amazing. G Ubers, yep. I used to spin for people on this. Uber leveling was a thing? Oh, if you don't know the joys of Uber leveling, you're missing out on a whole era. So basically, the minions and Ubers used to give experience. And I mean a lot of experience. And so, what you could do is you would trap Mephisto and, you know, whatever. Um, trap them in the house. You could trap all of them. And then they would all be there, and you'd put everybody hiding up in the corner. And then you would go down. And, uh... You'd go down into range, he would spawn his minions, and you would just hammer away like crazy. And you would just sit there hammering. Two dollars from JTRW. The next election, Bale will cheat and then laugh. I believe that. Um, and you just keep spinning. And so you just you just have a cut two hammerdens that just sit together and just spin forever. And everybody else would just stand up in the corner and leech the experience. And you could level to like 94 in like a day or something, or less. 1 to 90 was insanely fast, and even to like 94, 95, 96, it was still like much faster, and so it was ridiculously good. So that's why there's zero experience now from all of those minions. That's why uh, that, that exists as it does currently. It's always fun to see, hear like the history of it, I suppose, because you're like, oh, I never actually knew why that was like that. That was why. Have you heard of Matthew Matosis? He will forget more about game design in his sleep tonight than all of us here know in a lifetime. It would be a shame to make a game without checking him out. Matthew Matosis. I do not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Seems like he's, uh, not been around. Seems like he disappeared, I guess. Two dollars from JTRW. Tyrael 2024. 2024 Tyrael. Yeah, this is probably Tomo. Wow, it is Darkwood. Okay. Thank you, JT. And a gem shrine just to give it to us. Lovely. Alright, so now let's think. Do I want another perfect... No, I probably want to start getting my diamonds up. Good evening. Okay. So one diamond is 19. 
So diamond diamond I'm confused. What is the purple text by the location? Some D2 R thing? Uh yes, that is terror zones. It's a new thing they've added in. Oh man. Alright, well we know where it is and that's fine. Wait, you know what terror zones are, that's right? Why are you asking what are terror zones? I didn't know it said where they were. Oh, yeah, it says it right there. Okay, perfect diamonds, great. Let's go to the tree. I'm confused. What are Esroys? It is a clan of incredible people. This is on single player. All right, we are 48, which is good. 48 is solid for sure. Work feels bad, man. What do you mean feels bad, man? I feel like you love working. <laughs> okay, light belt. Has some potential. Two dollars from JTRW. VP Deckard Kane. Mwah. I'd vote for him. High HP chest with sockets. I mean, that sounds great. Wow, this is burial. No way. Oh, because that's le okay. I thought this was the dead end side over here, but this isn't. Yeah, so like 40 cold res is pretty nice. I could upgrade this belt to a shark skin, and then we could have a shark skin belt there. I mean, I'd lose 28 life, 23 light res. But 40 cold res could solve some cold res potential. See, my thought is hmm, like a perfect ruby and a perfect topaz. In my shield, let's. So I want a four open socket shield, right? I guess I want a three socket shield because I four socket shield. I could make spirit or something, but then I'm sacking so much dexterity, two skill, and yeah, it's probably not worth it. So I'm probably going three socket shield then, which means. Ooh, tricky. Oh, hooray, Peter. 11, 14 tracks. Womp, womp. Alright, where is... You, Mr. Waypoint. Because I want to make a nice res shield. But again, 4 socket is Monarch, which is 156 strength, we are, which we are 96 away from. Which is a lot to be away from it. Again, we could kind of sack all of the dexterity we have to do so. But then I don't get the block chance. And again, I just don't think that's worth it. I, I would rather have the block chance, I think. So we go for the small guy. Go for the small guy there. Hey, good. Close waypoint. Just in case we want to do multiple. We'll see what cows feel like here. Yeah, well, that's why I'm saying we just get a large shield instead of the monarch shield. Deckard Kane, if you value your life, leave here immediately. immediately. What's the most life you get from charms if I'm maxed out? 
Uh, 20 times 40, so 800. Ah, it's all so bad every time. Which would be nice. I, I would, I would like 800 life. No death? Okay, good. You never know what you're gonna run into there. Diamond, good. $5 from JTRW. I think Tyriel will bring a perfect 2020 small charm and several high runes as President of the United States of Sanctuary. The Rum King gifted a tier 1 sub to Archonus. They have given JT. 6 gift subs in the channel. Alright, there's a, a rare one here I want. I am overburdened. Yeah, flawed diamond. Grim wand, okay. The Rum King, thank you. JT, thank it's you. Locked. No loot filter. Yeah. They're smashing these down fast. <laughs> okay, is there a mod out there to keep track of the grail? Kinda, yeah. You can do it and like remod it a bit and stuff. I need a key. Another flawless amethyst, which does give us a perfect amethyst, so we can make an attempt at an FCR. Which is nice. I need a key. Probably farm a little bit of gem shrines. My thoughts. Oh. 
SROY2 gifted a tier 1 sub to OdinRed420. Thanks, SROY. They have given 3,429 gift subs in the channel. GG, my friend. Move. SROY2 gifted a tier 1 sub to Jeter2. They have given 3,430 gift subs in the channel. GGS Roy. Very sweet of you. Thank you. SROY2 gifted a through. tier 1 sub to Skilera. They have given 3,431 gift subs in the channel. Summoning one to summon resist 23 defense replenish life. Okay, we are 49. Ah, gotcha. Thank you, sir. All right, make the perfect amethyst. I seem to go shop some gloves. I mean, again, we'll, we'll do some shopping here soon. Cows are pretty lame, actually. Tower is terrorized. Interesting. So it would make it better experience, but... Kind of hurt it in the other ways, I guess. Cows are pretty lame on players one. Okay. Let's go shopping. Yes. Thirty to life on a ring. That's that's probably better than the like fifteen res that we get here. Five dollars from JTRW. Tyriel will decrease the fuel cost of high runes by 50%. 50%? Wow, sold. Okay, um, let's do a little shopping spree. Thank you, Asteroid, by the way, for those gifteds. 40 faster run walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you do P3 cows? I can like try. It's just it's not as good. See, like 65 to life is also nice, but we've got that. 80 to life on a ring mail of the squid is also kind of nice. You know. But without any FCR, I do have a lot of concern. Welcome to the desert rain. Ninety-two to life. I will buy. We're gonna we're gonna stack up a little bit of life stuff. Okay, so let's let's move some things. Let's move some chips. And you go there, you go here and here. I think we're good enough on gold, we can just sell. Okay. Right. So I really want faster run walk with resistances. I also want to take a look at some of the gloves that we can get. Hi there. 
just to see. Why not use the shared? Whenever I do these single player runs, the shared feels like cheating, you know? Good day. I like to I like to keep them separated. We need to do this. We need to do our shield. Hello. But first we need to do this to see what we need specifically. What does it take to upgrade a belt? What is what is the necessary? Welcome to the desert. Yeah, but I use shared stash for all the other stuff, so I don't wanna. What you need? Darn. Armor. It's a set belt, so it's the same as the unique. Good day. What you saying? Yeah, we can imagine that it's in the Ah, thanks, Welcome Justin. Appreciate rain. that. Good day. <laughs> Greetings. What you need? No, 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 no. Uh, God, I don't even know what my spacing is. I'd have to look. Twenty-nine light res. Okay. Normal to exceptional. Shale Tal Perfect Diamond. Okay. So I've got those. So that's good. So I have a potential 40% cold res belt. However, see, there we go. Finally, that's what we were wanting right there. Gorgeous. And we got 40s. I would have accepted 30s, let's be honest. Okay, so that puts us at 152 on the light, which is really nice. God, I really wish I had FCR somewhere. Okay, let's craft a ring. Or an amulet, I mean. Uh, okay, there's some light res as well here, which means... Hmm. Yeah, these are really nice. Almost 40-40s. Okay, so those are garbage now. This is not needed either, so we'll sell both of these guys. 74 to life. It's higher than 65. Okay. These are also goners. Um. One ten, one thirteen, one ten, one thirteen, one fifty two. So I can always do a row rune or a perfect. I, I think a perfect is better, right? Like a, a perfect M or a perfect ruby is forty. Forty fire res. So we could do like Rao, Diamond, 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 like that. Diamond, Diamond, Ruby has potential. That's pretty close. I'd lose a tiny bit on cold. You messed up hardcore. You can't damage him. Oh, 25, 10 points in Bone Spear. How do you beat him? Alright, here's the secret. Five dollars from JTRW. Llama will never die in HC if you vote for Tyriel in 2024. I've heard that's true as well. 
Here's the secret. Go shop in like act two or whatever, a wand with Iron Maiden, and then you Iron Maiden him and keep casting your golem next to him. He'll slap the golem and he'll kill himself. Nice and easy. All right, so let's grab you and you. If you don't have clay golem, get another wand with clay golem and kind of bounce back and forth between them. Hey mod, how you doing? Thank you. Don't forget to press that like button, the follow button, the subscribe button, all the buttons. If you want to go an extra mile, exclamation mark llama RPG. You can wish list the game I am creating. Not the gumdrop button! Exclamation mark llama RPG. Excuse me, did I say just RPG? Alpha, hopefully in like a month ish. And uh, with the alpha, it should it will be free to play on alpha cuz i just want everybody to be able to play it and test and all of that and we'll do server testing and everything the muffin man won't the clay golem be destroyed when you swap back Yes, it will. Mm. But you're not swapping back. Because you're swapping over casting Iron Maiden, and then you're swapping to your Clay Golem and staying on that until Iron Maiden is gone. Then you swap back, cast Iron Maiden, and come back. I spam click some tags that don't make sense. Did I? Which tags don't make sense? Sense. I tried to click all the ones that I thought made sense. Dude, where are the where is the shrines, man? This is crazy. It has hack and slash. I don't think hack and slash is on there. Is it? You're kind of hack I mean, to be fair, a Llama RPG is kind of a hack and slash. John becoming a member of the channel. Thank you so much, John. I appreciate that. Couple members here today. Thank you. Updated rune tally. You need 574. John rams. became 192 member. chipped amethysts, 63 chipped sapphires, 20 chipped rubies. Six chipped emeralds, uh -huh. three chipped diamonds, yeah. and one floor topaz. Or 192 Jeez. souls, or 64 shales, yep. or 22 dolls, or, or eight, eight hells, or, or three ios. But I that do need isn't nine looking hells. good right now. I need three hells actually because. Or nine hells because the one hell I need would also belong within. I have three shrines here. How are we getting nothing? This is crazy. It is like that before you announce it to anyone. Like I say, you're you're going around and you're hacking and slashing various monsters in a turn-based format. I understand why I said hack and slash. Does hack and slash have to mean ARPG? Like action? It's Adventure Quest. 
yes, it has roots of Adventure Quest mixed with Pokemon, mixed with Diablo 2, mixed with uh, World of Warcraft Classic, mixed with RuneScape. That's probably the best way I can describe the game mixed with my own creation. Updated, updated tally to not count the hell. 655 ams, uh -huh. 219 chipped amethysts, yeah. 72 chipped sapphires, 23 chipped rubies, 7 chipped emeralds, 3 chipped diamonds, and 1 floor topaz. Or 219 souls, or 73 shales, or 25 dolls, or 9 hells, or 3 IOs. Thank you, S3. This is ridiculous. Where the heck are these gem shines, man? S3 doing the math so we don't have to. Specifically referring to action games with a focus on real-time combat. All right, I will move hack, remove hack and slash from uh, the game tag. I need a key. Thank you, William. Straight up, this is bonkers. Okay, so Steam works. Unreleased apps, lamer RPG. And edit store page, technical marketing. Yes. Tags, tags, tags. Uh, you have applied 20 tags. Wait, how do I like undo one of the tags that I applied? It just says you have 20 tags. Begin. Okay, next. Oh, it still has them listed. Okay, good. Hack and slash. Removed. Publish. All right, there you go. Hack and slash is removed, chat. This guy looks like Pete Davidson if he did more drugs. Wait, if Pete Davidson did more drugs? He looks like me? Wait. Who, who's the one who has to do the drugs? Did I watch tonight's win against Mexico? Whoa, what? Oh my god, a gem shrine does exist. Holy cow. I did not. Okay. So now that's updated. So you're good, you're good. Hmm. Do I want to go diamond or, or this? So let's think again. Now it's time to think and do some calculation. So diamond diamond is 38 all res. A third diamond is 57, which gives us nine additional across everything and 15, 16 additional across cold. Wait, what? Nine, oh, 57, so four, 14. 
actually wait a second. It's... Yeah, there's some choice matter pieces that we'll have. A couple of the quests will have multiple outcomes. Um, okay, so with resistances, that's 113, so that's 127, and that's 119, which is 19 and 27 resistance there. Now I can always jam up, because that also puts this at, a, at 61, so I could go 51, 41, 38 to where 40 cold res. But that's just too much cold res. But then I could drop this off and put 29 fire res on. And that takes that and brings it up to at least a reasonable spot. God, my rings are so bad. I just wish I had good rings. It would have done so much for us. Now, if I just go a straight ruby, we get forty fire res, but nineteen is is worth is worth too much more. So let's do one more diamond. Oops. Let's do just one more diamond. Two in a row. The faster hit recovery and vitality boost, I think, is worth a lot. Oh my god, I keep doing it. So, I think the choice... Wow, three in a row. I mean, it makes sense after how many we missed. So we can, we can start the crafting idea here as well. Let's go to... Let's look up crafting. Crafting items, blood items. So it is 10 to 20 life on a blood amulet. And a little faster on rock, which is nice. But we are, of course, losing the 18 all res that we have, which is a lot. But rings are more what I'm interested in. Um... This one, area at summit. Uh, crafted items. So a hit power ring is the sapphire amarun. So it's amarun. And that has a chance for frost nova when struck, which I don't hate, and a little bit of dexterity. Safety items have the magic damage and damage reduction and some vitality. Ooh, safety might be really good. Magic and perfect emerald, any jewel. Okay, so let's go one more. Oh, I might just gamble. A ring, but it's probably better to find one in hell. Hey, Llama. Hey. Just wanted you to know that Llama RPG has been added to the top of the pile that is my Steam wish list. Aww, what a thank coincidence. You. Steamy Pile is the newest rune word that just got announced for Season 7. It gives unlimited quantity of strangling gases. Jesus, Ganji. 1 to 5 Vita is worse than 10 to 20 life. Yes, but damage reduction and magic damage reduction combined with that is better. 
Like, yes, I may not roll much life, but I'm going to roll damage and MDR, which, you know, just hits hits coming in. If there's multi-hits, that's, that's some life every single time right there. Now, again, I'd still prefer the life, but the bigger thing is going to be what rolls with it. No matter what happens with this, it's a nice little boost. The big thing is, will I roll life? Will I roll resistances? And FCR, potentially. Skinny jeans for 31 months. Thank you very much. Your hairline's receding. We need to get you more nutrients. We need to get you Totino's Fortified. With 19 important vitamins and minerals. <laughs> I don't know, my hairline's not receding at all. Don't I have a healthy diet or something I can hook Warren up with? I think our factor membership or factor sponsorship just ended, so that would have been the one I would have uh, hooked him up with because that's the least prep. All right, let's go to normal. I do not know keeps. <laughs> Lom RPG is keeping war insane and and loving life. Huel is less prep. I don't know. Is Huel less prep or factor? Huel, you have to mix water in and shake up. But factor. Just, you just, uh, put it in the microwave. Alright, so that's a little bit extra. Cameron, this, this. Where's the jewels? There they are, jewel. Alright. I mean, it's, we have 61 light res, wow. 1927. I could also just boost the fire and chug thawing all, all life. Which isn't a bad idea. 74 life also does sound nice. But dropping to 38 is maybe too much of a drop. It's a tough one. Now, this swap is a potential. Um, okay, let's go find a ring. All who oppose me, true, beware. True, yeah. <laughs> we do know. Finding better boots. Hey, perfect gold fine boots. Jesus, Warren. <laughs> I am level 49. So, there's a couple thoughts of how to do it. Number one is level like mad before you get into hell, which does make sense. 
Let's go players eight. Ooh, I like that. Look at that color. Look at that shield. Just mixed with the character. Looking great. Good day. And the second train of thought is you get into hell where the level all the monsters are way higher level. And then you just gather and corpse explode and just blow them all to bits. And that's kind of more fun, I feel like. It's a pretty, pretty good leveling experience. Now, it's also a little bit riskier. You will die a little bit easier, but it's, uh, the payoff is really nice if it works. All right, we have an amulet we can craft as well. I do think I need one more jewel. Um, let's use this for... Farming a tiny bit and getting money as well, so we can gamble some. Good day. Me. Beware. We got the super chest house pretty nearby, so that's why I'm just farming it, like here. Hey, uh... Yeah, it's a super chest. Good day. Yes. Put on Nagel? Doesn't matter for a super chest. No effect. I mean, like, I already feel like we're in an, a decent spot. Especially considering the drops of today, or just this run, all the way through have been so, so lame. It's, like, really sad how bad they are. Good day. Like, every run, we at least get Nokas in, or we get, you know, Rockstopper, or Durial Shell, or a ring that's like 32 Fire Res, 28 Cold Res. We get an Umrun, we get a Lemrun. Like, there's been something every time. All who oppose but me, this time, beware. none of that. Every single thing has has failed out. It's like so sad. These guys are just like such good experience. We found a prismatic ammy, which is okay. And we, you know, shopped some nice boots, but. That's like literally it. We had to roll two spirits even to get one that was mediocre. Me. Both our rings Beware. suck. Our helmet's just the simple handmade. Yeah. Okay, did players eight turn off all of a sudden? Like, what happened? What's up? I mean, it didn't because those guys took forever to kill, and you can see it says players eight. But <laughs> all who oppose me, you're fine with me farming this chest for three hours if that's what it takes. I just want a ring and a jewel. That's like all I'm looking for here. I'm probably just gonna go kill stuff instead. Let's go kill things in the cold plains. 
Um, let me actually check. Do I have another jewel? No. Okay, uh, Rao Rune, Amethyst, Amulet, Jewel, 30 Light Res, but it fails otherwise. Unfortunate. Alright. Unfortunate. Um, we can also just craft rings straight up. Okay. So, let's see. Um... Project Cube, Recipes, Magic Ring, Perfect Ruby, Exploding Potion. We can get a little more Fire Res and Light Res. And these are probably the two ways to go. Magic Ring, Perfect Topaz, Rejuve. So I need a Topaz, a Rejuve, an Exploding, and a Ruby. I wonder if you can use a full rejuve. Probably. Okay, we'll keep looking for that really fast, I guess. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, we'll do one more. And we'll go for the fire first. No exploding. It's, uh... Dwarf. Okay, so we've got these two here, which we will upgrade. And I guess I just want the ruby first. Yeah. It's okay. It'll be faster, I believe, to not do the chests but to actually go out and gather and kill. Just because we're going to kill masses. It was Bull Cathos? No way. Okay, here we go. Hold enchant, fire enchant. That never did anything bad to us before. Hey, Kano. How you doing, bud? There's a ring. Apple chips oh, underscore ruby. the video game. Wrong overlay BTW llama. Is it? Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's sick, man. First bowl for this ladder is GG. All right, so we need a jewel now. Or as they say in France, a jewel, I believe. Archers aren't my favorite. We will grab some moon clans. And I will grab the experience shine. And that's good enough. Let's pull it all together here. Uh, 
I got for work in a few hours. Have a good one, Esroy. Charm. Big life. Whammy. Okay, okay, okay. So just need the jewel. Jewels. I really have not found a lot of them. Three jobs, better drops, Mephisto or Diablo. Mephisto is going to be more often, just because you're going to get to him way more often. Diablo technically can drop more stuff than Mephisto. But... Seventy-two percent block chance. Pretty decent. Whoa. Okay. What is that damage? Sheesh. Dead end, potentially. Yeah. All that for a cave. Gross. And that, no, I guess that can still be it. Bad auras, bad auras. Okay, we do have a cold enchant right there. Exploding potion. Q. 
Neo mining matching grinders, necro until Enigma and Hodo and such. That's probably a bit much. Okay, I mean we like all this. Alright. We have dark wood. Let's see just how good and or bad tower is. What's the worst that can happen? Ghost will travel through, which I don't love. But otherwise... Probably uh, be able to run more than a mile before you get in cross country. That's a great way to train for it. Alright, stamina. Let's breathe while we can. There's a ghost, there's a couple ghosts. Okay. What's up with that? I have all these bone prisons set up and she just runs all around them. Tal, Am, and of course of terror. <laughs> of course. Can't wait for Ubers on this build. Yeah, totally. Alright, I'm just gonna put the key away for Ubering on a different character later after this one potentially doesn't make it. Talon M, 83, and here is our ring. I think I just need a jewel, man. Oops. 
What's the feeling to be in front of releasing your first game? I mean, I'm super nervous that it won't be fun. <laughs> I'm like trying so hard to make it fun. I'm trying to focus. I don't, it's not I don't believe that it won't be fun. But it's just, you know, sometimes things just work out in your head so much better in a way, right? And then you finally put it all together and it all comes out and then it's like people just aren't enjoying it. They're like, ah, the combat's tedious, it's, it's not enjoyable, it's just too, what, right, whatever it is. And I mean, if that's the case, I'll try and fix it, I'll try and fix it, I'll try and improve, you know. I'm like very down and open to continuing to work on it, but... Wait, I thought I reset. No wonder there weren't any bosses. But if I, you know, what if I just can't? What if I'm just bad at it, you know? Like, that's that's the thought. All who what if I'm just not good at it? And I'm, I'm just, like, <laughs> trying so hard to be a game dev and all this. But what if I'm just a player who can recognize problems that games have but not actually come up with good solutions. So. There's a lot of, uh, you know. I mean, it's first, first game. So there's just a lot of those kinds of nerves. On top of just general, you know, making sure it comes out and it's not having giant security issues. And we're able to figure out uh, how to have a decently good launch and we have good bug reporting and, you know, whatever. Like I say, I'm I'm very hopeful. I'm I really truly believe in it. I think when I picture the game that I want that we're creating, it seems fun. But reality can always be different, you know. So you're just trying your best to <laughs> Is there a time frame for the Kickstarter? The Kickstarter will come out with the alpha. The basic idea is I want people to be able to play the alpha for free first before they decide if they wish to kickstart the game. Just in case the game isn't fun for them and they're like, wait, why am I trying to get my name in a game that I'm not enjoying or something, you know? I don't want people to invest money, put money into it in any meaningful way without knowing what they're getting first from doing so. <laughs> Stabby. I wonder, is the name Andariel trademarked? Would I, like, not be able to put Andariel? It's, no, we're good to go? Okay. Me. I mean, it's it's nice. There are plenty of people who kickstart things before they know exactly what it's going to be like. I'm just trying to reverse it, especially in a current world where there's a lot of, like, I don't know, a lot of stuff that, 
you kickstart whatever does this and that and then you end up not right it ends up like not fully coming through or it ends up just being kind of trash or whatever we're just trying to avoid anything that feels bad like that crowdfunder scams and, yeah, exactly not trademark, but subject copyright if you use the same character. Oh, it wouldn't be the same character at all. It would just be the name purely if if that was, uh, you know, put in. I want a jewel. Literally just a single jewel. I also may go do some gambling for rings. See if we can hit like a dope rare ring. Amrune. Not quite. Let's we could also gamble for gloves. Maybe that's a better idea. Let's jam some gloves. Thirty light res. It's something. Jamblin' with Jeed. Alright, the rare's gotta be here, so let's do a couple rings. 18 fire res is better than 15 fire res, though I do lose half freeze duration. But it is better than this over here, so I'm going to swap out to that. Seriously, where are the rares at? 1 in 10? Oh, 5 light res. That was disappointing. Big wasted gold. We got a slight fire res boost, which I don't hate. And we have the lightning if we do want to go lightning cold. So I could go lightning to here, cold to here. We gain seven light res and 13 cold res and lose 28 life. So 20 res for 28 life. It's not bad. I would need a perfect diamond though to do so. All right. It is bedtime. Unfortunately, it's midnight. So we'll have to delay it the farming until next time. Uh, GG, everybody. We'll be back tomorrow a little bit earlier, and we'll keep jamming. Hopefully finish this puppy up. We'll see. I need to get, I need to get a few more, few more gear pieces. We're just not quite like where we need to be, you know, not quite where we need to be. Thank you again for being here, for hanging out, for watching. I mean it a lot, of course. Lastly, follow, subscribe, like. If you haven't already, it does do a ton for us. Uh, you made changes. You may not save. What? Um, and then, of course, if you want to wishlist Lum RPG, it's just... Right there, exclamation mark, long RPG, or, yeah, and that, and then it's just easy. Nice, quick, easy way. We'll see what we can get. Hopefully get over 2,000. It'd be, it'd be fantastic. But, who knows. Mwah! Kisses to you all. Peace. Thanks for being here, everybody. I will see you tomorrow.
Many moons have passed since I left the town of Tristram behind me. Since then I've tried to forget the terrors I beheld beneath the cold earth and the twisted nightmares that have haunted my every waking Five moment. Five dollars from Cold Yoga. There's something Cheers. dark within Cheers, Cold Yoga. Thank you. I can feel it. Eyes blast to the past, a bit of killer's mastery class, an orb of ice, a centrifuge recast at the fast of frozen mass. They shattered into glasses of ash, a chill and blizzard wizards cast, and now I'm gone in a flash. And we don't stop, a Nova Proc, a weapon swap, a unique drop, we're tearing through this chaos, listen to our master rap to rock the last who pop the moment stopped, he's finally free. Not even death can save from me, holy bolt, holy shield, holy freeze, I might smite the lord of terror onto his knees, I'll set free the beast within, just to watch him bleed, pure concentration, no salvation, just to restore peace, and bring order to the world, the desecration from my sword, he start a war, I'll massacre the core foundation of the law, this ain't no soul in search of answers, just a hero with a T, and by the time I finish slaying, there won't be Diablo 3. Lord of destruction, Lord of corruption, Lord of the hate and pain, I instigate a flow so great, eviscerate the syndicate, I decimate, eradicate my foes into a tonic state, they suffocate, choke on my name, Lord of seduction, Lord of disruption, Lord of the lies, Blah hides inside, he's terrified, mass genocide, my master rhymes identify the stale while they listen as I amplify, to specify it's time to die, bring it back. To the master of the track Travel east to find the beast So I can slay him with my rap Don't need flares or a sword Time my hand for my back Like a shop up I'ma kill him with my lyrical attack Time to let out my battle cry I don't find the time to grind A level 9 to 9 Support the party blizzard wizard And that summon god I stand to tank the flank of dolls But when I try to fight My damage lacks a crap of fight I can't attack I spent my life mastering axes Now I'm damned to cat Or cries of anguish They don't care They want the man A mental block from years ago Still trapped inside my mind The fiction highlands all I know Yet as I hit my blows My vengeance charges start to grow Look out Diablo This barbarian's about to steal the show I spit fire But not the weak like in fear No Ebot and poison Nova shots crush from my goblin toes Line by line I'm breathing rhymes In a red lightning hose And if you're caught up in this flow Your corpse just might explode Lord of destruction Lord of corruption Lord of the hate and pain I instigate a flow so great Eviscerate the syndicate I decimate you Turretonic state, they suffocate, choke on my name Lord of seduction, lord of disruption Lord of the lies, blah, hides inside He's terrified, mass genocide My master rhymes identify the stale While they listen as I amplify Should specify it's time to it's die catastrophe, mad italic bashing me Can't throw blows, cause I chose my caracaster tree Tornadoes, dodging mobs like it's an allergy Pathan wars, a product of a master mastery I pray to D, pray straight blasphemy I pray to find a glitch or bug to get me past these three, I'll lose my mind if Talix extra faster, I can't see, Maddox throws it's time to focus, DJ drop that beat, they're afraid of the pain that I ingrain in the brain, degrade the brave, escapades by throwing shade at the name, my rage builds ends, her lame, volcanoes burning away, can't level for a hurricane, chill to the core, can't escape, soon be no more, to some grave statues of gold, that'll say you're worthy, hero, and I can slay the lord of destruction today, so some controls for its fate, get to the throne to delay your only hope, take a moment now, ready, set, play. Beware, foul demons and beasts.